All right, in this video, I'm going to go to um, check emails in my personal account for anything that's from my Cozy Rock email account. So I'm going to be using the receive mail task, Cozy Rock task, three different times in this package. I've already set up the connection managers. So the first one is for accessing my, um, my personal account. So there it is. And uh, you have to use the right connection type. I think you just kind of experiment to see which one works, um, <laughs> unless you're an expert in this stuff and know what's going on under the covers. So um, then I also have uh, an a file connection manager that's just set up to put the body of the email in as we process each of the emails that it finds that meets my filter criteria. And then we have this attachments one that is another file connection manager and it just points at a folder. And I'm going to load up all the attachments from these emails that I find. Um, and put them in that folder. And let me make sure that I've cleared out the folder. Yeah, so that's the folder, it's empty. So I'll start by getting the Cozy Rock Receive Mail task and dragging that onto the canvas. I'm gonna use this to get a list of emails. And so there's, um, several different actions here and it's already set to get mail list which is what I want so I'll leave that. So then it's going to find all of the emails sent to my personal email account from diane.schuster at cozyrock.com. So I need to load that list into this variable that I have already set up called list of emails and it is an object type variable. You can see that down here. Um, all right, then for the mail connection, I'm going to use that IMAP connection manager that I showed you. And then the filter is just from diane.schuster at cozyrock.com. All right, now um, I'll have my list in that variable. And I'm going to go down and set up a for each loop container so I can process each of the individual emails in that list. So this will be um, process each of the emails from the list. All right, now we'll set up the for each loop container. So for collection, we're going to use um, for each from variable enumerator. So we're going to show it, give it the name of that variable we just loaded the list into. It's called list of emails. And then we need to have it keep track of which email it's on. So we use the other variable that I already set up called list item, and that is also an object variable. So it just keeps track like if there's you know, 25 emails in the list, it'll keep track of where it is in processing that list. All right, now we'll drag the receive mail task again into the for each loop, loop container. And this will be used to get each email from the list. So we'll open that and now the action we'll choose is get mail. And then for our local connection manager, it's going to be, we're going to put the email body in this, um, the file that it's pointing at. And we're not saving the body of the email message, so we're going to overwrite it each time through the loop. loop. We don't care in this package about the email body. We only care about the attachments. So I set overwrite existing here to true and um, 
Then for the remote parameters, of course, we're using the same IMAP connection manager to access the email for my personal account. And then the mail variable will be the list item. So that's telling it, OK, we're on the first one, we're on the second one, we're on the third one. So that's how we use that. And now we're going to use the receive mail task one more time inside the for each loop. Now that we have, we're working on one particular email, we're going to open the email and get the attachment. So let's go and configure that. So this time, the action is going to be open mail. And for local, we're going to be putting, no, we're going to be looking at the specific email. We use the email body connection manager for that. And then it has the ability to decrypt the emails and the attachments, but uh, I didn't send myself encrypted email, so we don't need to do that for this case. There's another security related um, capability where you verify the signature. So um, we're just going to set up this parameter attachment to point at our attachments connection manager, which is the one that just points at a folder where we're going to put all the attachments as we find them. So now it's all configured. I'll execute the package. It turns out it ran the other package that I have in this um, project. So this time I'm going to make sure it runs the one that I just configured. And it completed successfully. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.